I know the idea of setting up your first craft show is extremely overwhelming, but I promise you displays are a lot easier than they seem. In this video, I'm going to explain to you every display item that you need to pack for your first craft show, including some display items that I literally could never go without. Hey makers, my name is Cameron and I'm all about helping you take that next step in your crochet business and start selling your creations at craft shows. I've been selling at craft shows for years now, so you could say I have a pretty good idea of displays that convert to sales and displays that totally flop. Although there are plenty of factors that you don't have any control of in craft shows, your display is one of those things you do have control of and definitely, definitely affects your sales. You can maximize those sales the first time you set up and you don't have to go through years of learning like I did. And if you want to know exactly what I bring to every craft show, you can download my free craft show checklist. It's in the description box below and it's 100% free. Everything I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box below for your convenience if you want to go check out any of these items for yourself. I'm super excited to share these with you guys, so let's get started. You're going to need tables. I personally bring two six foot tables, but you can just start with one. Six foot tables are pretty standard in the craft show industry. I love my tables because they're pretty lightweight, but they're very sturdy to set up on. These things can hold a lot of stuff. Mine fold in half and have a handle so I can easily transport them myself. And I have two of them and I can literally carry both at once, which is amazing. It definitely streamlines my setup process. Plus they're super easy to transport, which is a huge plus when setting up at craft shows. I got mine at Walmart a few years back and I know I've seen them on Amazon as well but like I said before everything will be linked for you down below next thing is tablecloths and I know this is really weird but I'm really passionate about tablecloths and let me tell you why I used to just set up my six foot table and have a flowy normal tablecloth on there but it came with a ton of issues like for one they were always wrinkly two when I was at outdoor markets they would literally blow around in the wind three they never fit quite right four they took forever to set up because I had to like duct tape everything down in order to get everything to stay right anyways they were pretty much a big hassle and I found these tablecloths that I'm obsessed with and I literally rave about so you just put them underneath the leg on your table and it takes two minutes to set up super easy and a whole lot less stress than doing the other option. Of course, you can just set up a regular tablecloth, but I think these look so much better. It looks a lot more sleek, looks a lot more professional, so I totally suggest these tablecloths. I get mine on Amazon. Some craft shows do require you to have white or black tablecloths, so it's just good to start with those. I'm never going back to regular tablecloths. I'm always going to use these really stretchy spandex tablecloths, so you can just throw them in the wash. They wash really well after markets. And honestly, they're just the best tablecloths ever. They look the best. They're the easiest to set up. And like I said, I'm really passionate about tablecloths. Just take it from me. These are way easier. If you don't have tablecloths yet, and you're looking to get some, they're not that expensive, I would just grab these. Next thing you're gonna need is a chair to sit in. And two things with your chair, you want it to be easily portable and you want it to be comfortable. Funny little story, I used to bring chairs, honestly like these chairs that I'm sitting in now, they don't fold or anything. They were such a pain to transport there. They're just really awkward and they never fit in the car quite right. And I scraped my window really bad once with it. But honestly, they're just a total nightmare to bring. But I'm like, I want a cute chair. I don't just want a lawn chair to sit in. I want to look a little little more professional than that. So I considered getting a stool, but here's the thing. You are going to be sitting for a really long time. You want a comfortable chair. So I found this chair. Mine is from Walmart. It folds up. It's not like the cutest chair ever, but it's not super ugly. So I'm okay with it. It folds up. It's super lightweight and it's been really sturdy for me. So I really enjoyed my chair. Honestly, I think it's perfect. Personally, I'm a little bit of a baby, like sitting all day. Like I seems like my butt hurts after a while just sitting all day so I crocheted a little cushion but you can just crochet a cushion like this one just to sit on honestly or just buy a cushion but you crochet so might as well make one right so get you a chair that folds up and that's comfortable and maybe that is a lawn chair for you I just personally wanted to kind of up level the the look of my market so I wanted to get something that was a little bit cuter but again, if you're just starting out a lawn chair, honestly, it's perfectly fine. You're gonna want some props and decor to decorate your booth. And let me explain this. This is something that is gonna let you stand out from your competitors at market. And it's something that really sets your brand aside from other crocheters. They're a display item, but it's more of a decorative display item. It's not like you're using these things to display your items. It's more to enhance the items that you've already displayed, if that makes sense. Things like that could include like little plants like this. These are super cute to have at your display. Here's pink. 
pink is one of my brand colors so I would literally just display something like this maybe on my checkout stand or something again this isn't really displaying your product it's more just drawing attention to your booth because your booth is really pretty I wouldn't go and purchase a ton of stuff to decorate your booth right off the bat just think of what you have at home that already fits your brand vibe and honestly something like this is super cute another thing that you could do is it, oh my god <laughs> It's something like this, which is just, I didn't take them out of the bag yet. Let's take these out. They're super cute. Maybe it's a fall booth and you want to just decorate, you know, a little bit of fall vibes. People really love fall and Christmas decor. So I highly recommend just using a couple of decor items at your next market. And honestly, it's just really fun to decorate your market. So you're going to love this. You're, you're just going to, you're going to love it. Here is one of my huge 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 display tips are you ready <laughs> do vertical displays in this section we're talking about risers and shelves so these are things that will add vertical interest to your display okay think about it this way you go to the mall with a friend and you're walking around and browsing you might have some stores that you know you're gonna go to but as you're walking by bath and body works has these vertical displays of all these different candles and you're like, oh my gosh, we need to go in there. Like, look, they have their new fall scents out. They have big signs and they have these window displays of all these different body washes or whatever. And it totally catches your eye and you go in there and you spend a bunch of money in there. And you're like, I literally probably didn't need any of this stuff. And I didn't even come to the mall to get this stuff. But they totally drew me in, you know? Honestly, like who else cannot walk by Bath and Body Works without going inside and getting some stuff? It's not like Bath and Body Works has their body washes just laid flat, you know? And like you can't see any of their products when you're walking by. Like no, like everything is displayed vertically. And that's what I want you to keep in mind when you're making your displays. People probably didn't come to this event to shop at your market stall. like. Let's be real here. A lot of these people didn't even know you existed until they showed up here, which is totally fine. But they're not gonna just stop at your booth if something doesn't catch their eye and draw them in. They're just not. If they can't see it, they won't buy it. Let me show you some ways that you can create that beautiful vertical interest to draw people in and convert to more sales. Some of the things I love to use are these shelves I got from Amazon. They're super lightweight, super easy to transport, and they're honestly like a really good price. I think they're only like 40 bucks, which is, a really good deal I have two of them and I love how they look next to each other I like how they look but functionality wise they're amazing as well it also has a space for more vertical interest with the hanging part that is detachable you don't have to use it but I like to add it just to create that more vertical interest it's eye level and really draws people in another item from Amazon that I use is this mug tree and I hang things on it like I've been hanging my little baby booties on there but you could also do scrunchies keychains whatever it's just adding more vertical interest Another thing on Amazon that I love is this cake stand. It's a little bit cheapy and flimsy. Honestly, I just bought the cheapest cake stand I could find, but it honestly works really well. I have displayed scrunchies on there. I've displayed little baby stuff on there. Again, it's just another thing that adds that vertical interest that really draws in customers. When you're setting up, think vertical, okay? <laughs> if you're taking one thing out of this video, take this make your displays vertical okay my little rant on vertical setups is over let's move on to the next section a mirror this is great especially if you have things that people want to try on and they want to visualize themselves wearing it even if they're getting it for a friend they want to visualize it being worn so having a mirror i just have something small that i just drop up in my little crate display super easy another thing you could do is just grab like a little circular mirror and Prop it up, lean it against something. You have all these vertical displays now, so you can just lean it up against one of those displays. And there you have it, super easy. And you also need some sort of large banner or large sign that shows your brand name on it. Because a lot of people who are walking by might even just see your sign and see your booth and not have time to stop. But they might be like, I definitely wanna buy something from her in the future. I'm just gonna write down her name really quick. Or I'm gonna go follow her on Instagram really quick and purchase something from her later. So this is great for that reason. And some markets actually require you to have professional signage. So I would really suggest getting some professional signage just right off the bat. It also makes your booth look a lot more professional
professional, a lot more cohesive. It just makes it feel like you. So my professional banner is from Staples. It was pretty affordable, honestly, and it works really well. I just use bungee cords and hook it to my canopy. Super easy, super quick to set up. Another sign that I like to use, it's not like a professionally printed sign, but I think it looks really, really cute, is this sign I have from Hobby Lobby, and it folds up too, which is fantastic for transporting. It's super cute. I just used a chalk pen, and I wrote Cameron's Cute Creations on there. I put my Instagram handle on there so people know where to find me if they're walking by and say they see something they do really like, but maybe they're not purchasing right then and there. A lot of people will just follow me on Instagram just from seeing my handle on this sign. So that's another idea for you guys. Again, I got this one at Hobby Lobby, and I know you guys probably know, but Hobby Lobby is great with sales as well. So some weeks they have sales on certain things. So just shop around those sales and you can get these signs for actually pretty affordably. And you know how I know you know about sales? It's because you're a crocheter and we literally only buy yarn on sale. Like that's a known thing, right? Comment below if you are obsessed with Hobby Lobby sales they do. I will not buy anything full price from there. I encourage you to check out that link in the description because I not only have that checklist for you guys that is everything I bring to my markets, but I also have all these items that I mentioned in this video, plus more of my market display must-haves in the description, linked for you guys for your convenience, so you can go check them out for yourself. Two things to ask yourself when shopping for display items. One is, does it create vertical interest? Two, is it easy to transport? So these are things that create that vertical interest, but are foldable and lightweight so that you can actually bring them to your market and they're easy to set up. I hope this video really helped you guys get a good idea of what display items you need to bring for your first market. And you're obviously pretty interested in market if you watched the end of this video. I encourage you to watch this video next because this is exactly what an average day of setting up at a market looks like for me. And you'll see me in this video implement a lot of these display strategies. So I want you guys to see these in action. So go ahead and watch this video next. You're going to absolutely love it. And it's going to make you so excited to set up a market for yourself. So I will see you in this video right here.